Hello, my darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I had to turn the AC on, guys, because I am dying in this hotel room. For those of you new to the channel, this is not my normal setup. I am on vacation. Also, um, I posted a video. <clears throat> I posted a video the other day, and it was the wrong extended. So if you purchase that extended, just go to Gumroad and ask for a refund. Let them know that it was the wrong extended. It's a third-party platform. There's nothing I can do to refund that money, okay? Um, what else do I want to tell you? I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Leo-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could go to my main channel, Tarot of Light. Um, I also have a Cancer-only channel and a Virgo-only channel. Like, share, comment, subscribe. <clears throat> I do a monthly giveaway on this channel. Um, in the description box, you'll see a whole list of everything that I give away. Just hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section below. Okay. I am doing a $500 giveaway on Lunar Logic Tarot. She just hit 11,000 subscribers. If we can get her to 20,000 by July 1st, I will be choosing one of her subscribers, uh, for a $500 giveaway. Okay. So the link for her channel is below. Uh, readings can be vice versa, so flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. All right, Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please, Spirit. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Leo, please, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Five of Cups in the reverse, and the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. Tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo. We've got the Sun card, Leo energy, the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Leo, Sag, Aries. The Star card, Aquarian energy. And the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. The Fool card, the Six of Cups, and the Page of Wands. Knight of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups, Nine of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. So, Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. This is the side of somebody that is saying, okay, I know I did a lot of things wrong, all right? I know I did a lot of things wrong, but I know I still love this person, and I think that they still love me. I know I emotionally manipulated this person. I know I treated this person like I didn't care about them. Okay? I, I know that. I feel like this person has come to some form of enlightenment. The thing here is, is that this person, I feel like they have not pursued this connection in a while. They didn't chase after this connection. They didn't try to fix this immediately. So I feel like this is somebody that is coming back around, but it's like when this fight happened or when this ending happened, they didn't fight for it initially. Okay. They didn't fight for it initially. And now with the star card and the king of swords, this is somebody that's saying, okay, you know, I know what I want. So I'm going to make a plan to go in and try to talk this out. Okay. Page of wands, six of cups and the full card. This is someone that's saying, screw it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to hit this person up. Okay. With the knight of pentacles and the three of cups, I told you it's like, you know, knight of wands in the reverse. This is someone that had no interest in the connection when it ended and it took them a while to come back around to even apologize or talk about it nine of swords and the seven of pentacles i feel like this person does know that they did a lot of wrong in the past they do they do leo they do know that they did a lot wrong in the past um I feel like they are sorry for it. I feel like they are sorry for it, but this person's a little bit in this energy of, yeah, I know I messed up, but I love you and you love me. Let's work it out. You know, and, and it's very simple for this person to just say that, but I'm sure for the person they hurt, it's not going to be that simple. Five of cups in the reverse and the eight of wands. You see, someone wants to talk. Queen of cups in the reverse, the three of wands and the two of cups. Someone here... Leo is in an energy of 
I know I made you feel like I didn't care. I know I emotionally manipulated you. But you know what? I'm kind of missing your love now. I'm kind of missing your love now. I'm kind of I'm kind of missing the way you took care of me. Okay? Tell me about the sun card and the four of wands. Tell me about the knight of wands in the reverse and the page of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. I, I feel like this is somebody that really did not come around, did not apologize, didn't want commitment at that point in time. And now with the sun card and the four of wands, this is someone that's literally saying, okay, let's get married. Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe this is someone that wanted to just go pursue their options one last time to see if there was something better. This person, I, I'm not going to lie, Leo. I don't know if this is you. I don't know if this is them, but they come off looking a little crazy because it's like the relationship ended. Um, there was no communication. There was no coming forward. There was no chasing. It almost appeared like this person didn't care that the connection ended. And now they're coming back like, yeah, you know what? I choose you. I think you're the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. So they're coming off a little like, what are you talking about? You know, tell me about the star card here, please. For Leo, we've got the eight of swords. Tell me about the king of swords and the seven of pentacles. Yeah. So this person, see, the thing though is Leo is that they're coming back in this energy of like, yeah, it doesn't matter what I did. I love you. You love me. We can make this work. But in reality, this person does know that they hurt you really bad. Like the past bothers them. It does. It bothers them how they treated you, what they did to you or Leo, vice versa, I don't know, that could be you, okay? It does bother them. But when they come forward, I feel like they're not going to make a big deal out of it. Like, they're not going to come forward with the show of, I'm so sorry that I did this to you. It's No, it's just going to be more like, yeah, the past is the past. Let's, let's just get married, you know? So, And that's just going to be a little weird, you know? Yeah, it's just going to be a little weird. Knight of Cups, they're coming forward. They're... They're being honest with what they're saying. You know, the, the the offer that they're giving, I feel like they're being honest. They're saying here that, you know what, I feel like they're saying I want to have a new beginning with you because you're pre-empress. Or it could be that this person went off to pursue new, new things looking for a pre-empress and didn't find it. Because see, Six of Swords and the Two of Swords. It's like maybe they went off to new things trying to find somebody like you and they couldn't find it. And they're like, yeah, no, I think I got the best one. You know, when you go shopping and you pick out something and you go look to make sure it's the best one before you buy it, I kind of get a vibe like that's what this person did. Tell me about Leo, please. Yeah, that's <laughs> the person on this side definitely is not feeling the same way. Queen of Swords and the Chariot, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Cancerian energy, the Hermit, Virgo energy, and the Ten of Wands. Oh, this person is not making any quick decisions. This is someone that has learned their lesson. This is someone that has learned their lesson. And with the Hermit and the Ten of Wands, this is someone that when they think of this connection, they think of how hard it was. This was a hard connection for this person. We've got the Ten of Pentacles and we've got the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So look, guys, we've got the Queen of Cups to the King of Cups here, a true pair, and the Ten of Pentacles. This had the potential to be something really amazing. Now, it could be here because I am seeing three people. I'm seeing the Queen of Cups in the reverse, the King of Cups, and then I'm seeing that Queen of Swords. It could be. It could be, guys, that, you know what I'm saying, someone here chose the Queen of Swords over the Queen of Cups. And it could be that, you know, this person went through a really hard time. They went through a really hard time because they were not chosen. And now they're getting this offer of, hey, no, I've decided you're the one for me. Let's go live happily ever after. Yes, yeah, see, I, I do feel like there may have been someone else in the picture with that devil card. Okay, look at that, the death card and the ten of swords. Hanged man and the three of pentacles. It's like someone here left, walked away to go see if that over there was better. And they decided, no, 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 no. I already got the best one. I'm going to go, I'm going to go back home and get married. You know, five of wands and the three of swords. This was an ugly fight, possibly over a third party. Someone here broke the, the person on this side got their heart broken. So who is this queen of swords? 
the Hierophant, and the Five of Swords. So, okay, I feel like this person made promises to you already, okay? And then they walked away from you possibly to go towards that Queen of Swords. Yeah, see, they were secretly giving to someone else. They were secretly giving to this Queen of Swords energy. Tell me about the Chariot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep, see? Seven of Swords and the Four of Swords in the reverse. They couldn't rest in the connection with you until they, like, they had to go check that out over there. They just had to. And, and Leo, I feel like it was really hard for you to heal from this deception. They made the choice that was best for them, and it was really hard for you to heal from this. Tell me about the Hermit and the Seven of Wands. Yeah. Ten of Wands and the Four of Cups. It, it hurts you. Because this person, like, they went off to new love. They went off to new love. They seemed to be at peace. They seemed to be happy. It seemed to be like everything was going in their favor. Like, you know, it seems like they wanted that new person. And you were left rejected and lonely and confused and angry, jealous, a little envious maybe, you know, that you weren't chosen. And, uh, yeah, it hurt. It hurt. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Tell me about the King of Cups and the Six of Swords with the Five of Pentacles. Leo, could it be either number one, this person walked away from their true soulmate, someone that they could have had it all with, okay, and now they want to come back and act like it's water under the bridge, or Leo, you may have left this person behind now and found yourself a Ten of Cups and a Ten of Pentacles. This could possibly be new. Tell me about Leo, please. We've got the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Tell me about Leo. And the Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about Leo, please. And the Queen of Wands. Yeah, see, they, they quickly got themselves into a new relationship with someone else. Queen of Swords and the Knight of Cups. And you had to sit there and watch them. And you had to sit there and watch them. Tell me about this Ten of cups and ten of pentacles the eight of cups in reverse yeah they're coming back they are coming back uh because they realize here that you're the one they're realizing you're the one but not after dropping you to go be with somebody else the justice card and the lover's card though um that third party could have been karmic or it could be here uh leo that they're gonna pay for what they did to you they're gonna pay for what they did to you it could be that by the time this person comes back around, you're already in a new situation. Because this could be your side too, Leo. It could be that they're coming back around now, and they're about to find out that you're in something new. Yeah, because see, look, we've got the King of Pentacles, the Magician. You manifested this beautiful, stable person. Eight of Pentacles, the Fool card. You're working on moving on here. When the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups come in, this is the ex that's taken forever to come back around to talk to you. And now you get to tell this person, you get to tell this person, oh, no, I've got my my king and queen of pentacles. I, I have found the one. I'm sorry. Um, I've chosen someone else. Now tables turn and the victory is yours. Tables turn and now you can slam the door in this person's face. See how that works, Leo? See how that works. And I feel like some of you guys may even play this little game of, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll call you back. Let's just talk real quick. And you may give them a little bit of hope, like, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. And then with the strength card, you're just going to pull back and go quiet on this person. <laughs> you know, some of you guys may even toy with this person a little bit. Yeah, Leo, I'm not even going to take this into an extended because it's pretty clear cut. I think that by the time this person comes back around, you're going to find the person that you're meant to be with. You're going to find your true pair here and you're going to have the victory, Leo. 
So right when they realize that you are everything they want, you find everything you want in someone else. And that's the way that works. Okay. All right, guys, I love you so very much and I'll see you guys soon.